Given the two confirmed concussions Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tagovailoa suffered this season, there is some concern about his future in the NFL. However, according to Dr. Joseph Maroon, a neurological consultant for the Pittsburgh Steelers and clinical professor at the University of Pittsburgh, Tagovailoa isn't at elevated risk of more concussions with proper rest. My caveat. If the brain is not fully recovered, there's a higher incidence, Maroon said, according to Hal Habib of the Palm. Beach Post. Maroon then offered a very positive outlook for the University of Alabama product. Given all off-season with no more contact, the odds are very, very positive that he would be returning next year, he said, adding that he would not have any added concern for Tagovailoa's well-being. It was recently reported that the former first-round pick is expected to be the Dolphins' starting quarterback for the 2023 season, but the two confirmed concussions have left many uneasy. There are plenty of people who believe the Dolphins would be better off if they went in a different direction at quarterback. In recent weeks, they have been linked to both Lamar Jackson and Tom Brady, it will be interesting to see if Miami does end up moving on from Tagovailoa. On the Monday after the team's wildcard game loss to the Buffalo Bills, General Manger Chris Greer showed his support for the 24-year-old. I would say with Tua he is our starting quarterback, Greer said. I mean, I don't know how we can say it any more clearly. We've been that way through this season and what he's done. During the 2022 regular season, Tagovailoa threw for 3,548 yards, 25 touchdowns, and just 8 interceptions while competing 64.8% of his passes. It was easily the best season of his young career, and some of the team's coaches deserve lots of credit. Mike McDaniel expressed the type of confidence in him that Brian Flores never seemed to have. While Daryl Bevel also certainly helped, Bevel recently rejected overtures from the New York Jets and Washington Commanders for their respective offensive coordinator openings and plans to the stay with the Dolphins for now. Tagovailoa, McDaniel, Bevel and the rest of the Dolphins organization will be motivated to improve on a 9-8 season. At times, it seemed like the Dolphins were destined for bigger things than a first-round exit, but it's clear that there's still some things to work on this offseason.